I'm Lori Ducek, an Information Officer with the Regional Emergency Operations Centre. I'm joined today by Daniel Klein, who's the Incident Commander on the St. Mary's River Fire. And it is Monday, July 24th. Crazy that it's already Monday. We're filming this just after 11 a.m. And this is our operational update. So I guess the first question for you is maybe we can just do a quick recap of the last 24 hours and then more importantly, let's spend some time looking ahead. Okay, sounds good. Um, yeah, so last 24 hours, nothing has changed, which is great to report. Uh, we had no growth in the, the northwest, north, and northeast. Uh, this spot across onto Bummer's Flat remains contained. Um, that's great news. We, we had no spot fires challenge us overnight. So we had no additional growth to the fire in the last 24 hours. It remains at, at 4,100 hectares. Um, we are going to get challenged today by some some increased winds. Uh, we do have a cold front that's going to move into the region this evening. We are expecting sustained winds uh, 15 to 20 kilometers an hour through the afternoon, uh, gusting uh, 30 to 50 uh, through this evening and, and into tomorrow morning. So that's going to be our major challenge and it remains just staying vigilant of spot fires, making sure that uh, we're, we're patrolling in the right places and can respond as soon as possible to anything that, that gets out of our containment lines. So knowing that that's coming, I always say in the summer when it's hot, people don't think about cold fronts, but yeah. I always say, no, not a cold front because it really does come with unpredictable and erratic winds. Yeah. So knowing that that's a concern tonight, how are you kind of positioning things out in the field to put yourself in the best position possible should things pop up? Yeah, great. Resourcing is going to be the same it has been for, for since we started this, this effort on Monday. So uh, we are going to have a BCWS Type 1 unit crew that is out doing night shift. Uh, we have a contingent of heavy equipment that is overnight on the fire. And we also have structure protection staff that are working overnight on the fire. Um, so we remain uh, to have overnight coverage. Uh, and we are fully staffed during daytime hours to respond to anything that comes up. So uh, we are remaining extremely vigilant at this point. Uh, we are not out of the woods. Um, we are going to get challenged if, if something sparks and spots. Um, and I've been working with operations. Operations is working with heavy equipment, structure protection, and aviation resources to make sure that any of our areas of concern are well staffed and we have a plan in place to respond to them as quickly as possible. And that will remain through the overnight period into tomorrow to, to try and get out of this weather event that's coming down. Super. So the latest updates and information will always be available on the Wildfires of Note page on bcwildfire.ca. We're doing our best through the Regional Emergency Operations Center to get information out as and where we can. And this is certainly a format that people are appreciating and it's definitely a great way for us to bring you to the fire front. Is there anything else you wanted to add for people today? Uh, no, the last thing is there, there is going to be continual small scale planned ignitions happening. So if, if people are seeing smoke in the early morning, uh, that is likely intentional pockets of green fuels that are being burnt. Again, uh, the only way that we're going to guarantee that, that that's, this doesn't spark up and burn again is to just remove as much fuel as we can on our own terms and not let uh, essentially the weather and the fuel conditions do that for us. So we are continuing to, to burn fuels, uh, get rid of any green pockets and make sure that this thing is secure as possible. And uh, we'll just see what the weather brings. Super. So for the yeah. last couple of days, the, the map has not changed. Um, we'll be back again tomorrow with an operational update with uh, Incident Commander Klein. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to look at the same picture. But certainly um, we'll be looking forward to tomorrow's update. And thank you okay. for your time today. Yeah, you bet. Thanks, everyone.